Now we will go to the eldest member of our panel, who has graced us with her presence and has promised to try to speak loudly. With, we've given her a triple mic, I hope. And Tao Porchon Lynch. She is a yogini, and she is an accomplished yogini, and she is 93 years old. Oh. Mr. Young. Makes us feel young. Making us all feel young, and she's younger than most of us. And please, it is your turn. Thank you okay. very much. I feel very humble and sort of almost at a loss to try and express myself after all of these wonderful words and wonderful meanings to life. I, I, yes, I'm a yoga, supposedly, supposedly a yoga master. But I found that the word yoga comes from the Sanskrit word yug, meaning to unite, to, to unite the body, the mind, and the spirit, to become one without a second with the whole universe. So this is part of my principle in life, is to try and understand that which is within me and why I'm here. I'm not here to, to fight everybody I meet. I'm here to try and understand. And the only way I really have found that helped me in this peaceful effort was to say not about religion, but to the fact that the whole world, the whole of creation, is not somewhere out in space, but right inside of me. The creator is inside of me. And if I can join this peaceful effort and become one with it, then I, I tune in to my inner self and I can look at other people and know that we are all, even to the blade of grass, even to the tiniest insect, all of them beat with the same heartbeat as me. Therefore, if we can get together and go to the top of the mountain, it doesn't matter which path you take, but the top of the mountain is where we all should get together. No frontiers. Nothing blocking out these people or blocking out that. But the feeling that we are one without a second, with the creator of life, it's within us, around us, and through us, without beginning, without end. So as I feel that really yoga has helped me, it is the dance of life. And I like to dance too. So I'm going to dance my way with my life, trying to understand why I'm here and the reason behind all of this that makes people procrastinate and have fear. When we get up in the morning, we should know that this beautiful world was made for us, that we're a part of it, and that don't put any fear into our mind. I don't believe in it. I, I hate even to my dearest doctor who tells me always that I need a checkup. And I say, a checkup, she said, you haven't had one for three years. You know you have a hip replacement, you have a pin in your leg, you've broken your wrist. I said, but doc, I don't need a checkup. So she, she was insisting and I said, well, you were so nice. But I'll tell you one thing. I will have a checkup on one condition. If it's bad, you don't tell me. If it's good, you can talk all you like. So there is a wonderful thing that I like to finish everything with. The word is uh, shanti, or shalom, or salam. They all mean they're thousands of years old. And they still mean May peace be unto you and to every living creature. So this is how I feel and why I'm here today. And amongst all these wonderful people, thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Does anyone have a question for, for Tao? Any question for Tao? From anyone? I want to know your beauty secret. <laughs> <laughs> Be what is the beauty secret? The beauty secret? I don't know. I, I don't have any beauty secret. I know the beauty secret. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I just, I love life. I've, I think my beauty is really and truly the power of a smile. And why it's such a wonderful smile here with the Dalai Lama. I'm so honored. And. <laughs> can I, Bob? Bob? Yes, Deepa. Can I comment on her? Yes, beauty please. Secret? Please do. So, in the great uh, Vedic tradition of India, there are three words that are used, that she's familiar with, I'm 100% sure. Uh, three words that are used to express pure consciousness. The first is satya, which means truth. Mm -hmm. The second is shivam, which means goodness. And the third is sundaram, which means beauty. <laughs> so truth is in that tradition, the masculine principle which is present in all of creation. Goodness is the feminine principle, which is also present in all of creation. And what comes out of that is beauty. And she has all three. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And now, now we turn from the, our senior member to the youngest member, to Mahishan Nyana Shekharan. And Mahishan, it is your turn. Thank um, you. Good morning. My name is Mahishan Yanasaran, and I attend Science Park High School here in Newark. <laughs> um, I'd like to start off by saying how thankful I am for having been given this opportunity to speak at the Newark Peace Education Summit but I'm really honored to be standing next to figures that I've only read about, and their presence makes the summit truly whole. As always, I'm excited and extremely proud to call Newark my home. It's not every day that Newark gets to host a summit of this nature, and I would like to thank everyone that has contributed to the summit from the bottom of my heart. Surely this will go down in history, and Newark will be a part of it. I would like to discuss a topic concerning not some, but all of us, youth violence. I've been an advocate for peace between young people ever since I can remember. I was very young when I first started realizing the dangers of youth violence and its repercussions in the community. During the fourth grade, I was unfortunate enough to see one of my closest friends get seriously injured. He was continually harassed by older students and eventually has to be carried off the playground in a wheelchair. This is how youth violence begins. As someone who grew up witnessing random acts of cruelty, I can account for what tolls youth violence has taken on dozens of communities. The impacts of youth violence extend beyond the individual, causing families, friends, and loved ones to endure pain and suffering. Communities are disrupted, and unity becomes an idea no one believes in. We need to educate our youth and explain how one random act of violence affects the entire community. Youth violence is extremely difficult to combat because we do not understand the relationship between us and our community. It is within where the spark first starts, the decision of whether to go the right way, the wrong way, to either seek blame or peace. We must find peace within ourselves by looking at our surroundings and understanding our role in the world. Our passion to fight against violence is one of mind and heart. Violence may strike us hard, but we should continue with the positive mindset, mindset built on strong words, vivid actions, and perseverance. We the community as a whole must do our best to make sure that the young do not fall prey to violence. But at the end of the day, it all falls to us. They must find the courage within themselves to fight against the malevolent forces 
that try to stop them. We can succeed. We must help others find their peace. Buddha once said, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Individually, each of us is a different human being. We all have our likes and dislikes, and it is up to us to control, control our lives. We control all our actions and our fates. This fight against evil always starts within. We may lose some battles, but the most important thing is to continue fighting with valiant efforts to make sure our youth are not plagued with the mentality of despair and loneliness. We need to focus on the hope and a possibility of a better life for all life on Earth. As a youth living in Newark, I am determined to put my best foot forward in order to stop youth violence. Newark is a great city that is slowly but steadily raising and gaining its reputation. Of course, of course, much of this credit goes to the people themselves and the leaders that have helped the city go this far. Mayor Booker is one of those leaders whom I'd like to thank, along with many others. As much as I'm proud of this great city, it also requires dedication, commitment, and the full support of the great people in it. I'm grateful that this event has allowed not only the people of Newark, but also the city itself to shine and show how truly bright it can be. There is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you, Mahishan. Does anyone have a comment or question for Mahishan? Anyone on the panel have a question or comment for Mahishan? I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right.